Hello, this is Redgren, and along with me is Casey Scrag. Yep. Hello. We're starting a playthrough on No Pain, No Gain with Auto Aim Turned Off, and I'm doing a, a cold start every level, which is I'm going to suicide to lose all my gear and start each level from scratch. Not that it really matters for level one. Which has already tried to kill me. Mm -hmm. Getting that nuke. Yep. And... <laughs> Right at the start, they throw enemies at you. In Doom, or Wolfenstein, or Marathon, or a whole bunch of other games, they give you time to learn the controls before you start fighting. But in this game... But not here. <laughs> yeah, they figure, you've played these games before, you should know how it goes. <laughs> no mercy. Right. So I'm using the right sword the most of the time right now, mostly because I don't really need to use the shurikens as long as I have anything else. I I mean, they're okay at longer ranges if you don't have dual Uzi yet, but they run out really fast and you don't pick up much of them per pickup, so they don't even last that long. Yeah, I mean, personally, I just tend to... Yeah, I'm just trying to try to get rid of them as soon as I can and switch to something better. Right. Now, that guy I just killed right now... That's uh, sort of a special kind of thug. He hides behind things, so his default animation is crouching. He fires a lot more than other guys of his type, and he's generally annoying. And coming up is uh, an enemy called the Cooley, that guy in the hat. Oh. Yep, there he is. Good you want to talk about it? Cool. Yeah, he likes to run at you and explode. And he takes a lot more hits than most exploding enemies from other games, which is interesting. Oh yeah, if he just blew up right away, it would almost not be uh, an enemy. you just lure him close to other yeah. things and have him blow him up for you. Yeah, <laughs> a moving grenade. Yeah, the reason I tossed the gas grenade into that room before is... There was another enemy that liked to hide behind the desk, so I'd get shot up if I run it, ran in there without preparation. Oh. GNN reference there. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, the Singapore Caning. Look it up. <laughs> Meet the grenade, the grenade launcher. The way to use it in general is, if you can see the explosion, the you're doing it wrong. <laughs> a good way to put it. Yeah, they have a very wide range. It's great for shooting around corners or if you can duck behind a door. Its area effect is huge, though. Not good as a direct weapon. And coming mm -hmm. up is Casey Scrag's favorite weapon. The riot gun. Oh, yeah. It's a, a <laughs> an automatic shotgun, which is interesting. Well, you can switch you can it to switch automatic. It. Oh yeah, you can either use it just like that, which is the single shot, like a regular shotgun, or you can switch it to fully automatic shotgun, where it just unloads all four barrels. Yeah. And in fact, you mm -hmm. once you pull the trigger, you can't stop it early, so it's all four barrels or nothing. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be really handy against rippers who are not going to see until the next level. So right now I'm going to be using it semi-auto. But th that poster to the left has a lot of manga pictures on, on it, one of which is Blackjack, which is a favorite of mine. And just, oh. just in general, this level is sort of made to please. Much like the first level of Duke Nukem, there are a lot of little touches and... Uh, just solid design in general, lots of little things to explore. And it introduces a lot of the uh, things that are kind of new to this game, at least at the time it came out. Level exploration yeah. everywhere. I shot that waste paper basket thing with one Uzi instead of two, because firing at it with one will push it the same amount, but... Uh, Take up a lot more ammo, yeah. too. Save ammo that way. Mm -hmm. Dual Uzi's is sort of the workhorse of this game. It's good at the range that most fights are going to happen. Only problem is, being Uzi's, they chew through ammo really fast. Yeah. So you can't clear out a huge room with them. There are ammo pickups everywhere, and 
two of them will give you half the uh, ammo you need to get to max. Oh, those koi. Oh, yeah, those koi are everywhere. I usually use the <laughs> shotgun on them because it, it's just efficient. I tried using melee. doesn't seem to work for some reason. Yeah, I've tried that, too. I don't know why that happens. It just... You're, you're not very easy... It's not easy to hit them with the sword for some reason. Yeah. I guess they just wanted to really enforce using guns on them. Ah, uh, that was probably it, yeah. Oh boy. Ooh, getting hit by a goat pooly ghost. Yeah, those ghosts... Well, they appear on their own, but they also sometimes pop up from coolies after they die. And it didn't look like they did that much damage, but that's because I believe I had armor at the time. Usually they deal... Ah, you did, yeah. Yeah, they deal around 30 damage a hit, and they can fire pretty rapidly when they want to. Ooh. Slashing that guy to pieces, alright. And it was pretty easy to get lost in that baggage claim room. Most people who I've seen play the, gra the game hang around there going around in circles for a while. <laughs> I'm guilty of that too when I, I first played. I think the reason is you have to stand on a conveyor belt and crouch t to get in there. So you expect the exit to look kind of the same, but instead it's a vent that you have to jump into. That is very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> there, there's a lot of references to other anime and pop culture just like that. Oh, I love it. And that's also a clue to how to get the key if you didn't happen to go the back way before walking in there. Now, coming up is a very dangerous area, which is why I'm getting the smoke bomb. It's mm. full of the, uh, these thug guys I've been killing, but that's not really worth a smoke bomb. What I'm really looking out for is the semi-invisible guy that I'm pu punching at. If I wasn't invisible, Shadow Ninjas. Yep. If I wasn't invisible, I'd probably be dead by now. Yeah. They have three attacks, one of which is the Uzi that all the other guys use. The other two are a triple fireball with lots of explosions trailing behind it, and if that hits you, you're gonna die regardless of health and armor. The other is a single fireball. Oh, one sec. Hold on for the nuke. We're going for the nuke. Run away! And right behind me, <laughs> another Shadow Ninja, which survived a direct rocket hit, oh my god. Whoa, holy crap. <laughs> ah, that was where I made a wonderful this. discovery. Whew. The reason I didn't yeah. die there is because those attacks can be jumped over. I, <sighs> I didn't actually know that could be done, but I didn't have any space hey. to dodge, so I thought I might as well give it a try. Hey, quick thinking, it worked out this time. Yeah. Whew. I was kind of surprised, because usually a direct rocket hit will kill them. And it That was strange. I mean... Yeah. Hmm. And there's coolies in there, which will blow up the moment I walk in there, which is... Uh, oh, almost did yeah. it anyway. That's why I was trying to prepare the area with grenades. They're great for trick shots <laughs> They like were that. still there, though, man. Well, not anymore. There we go. Yeah, well... <laughs> yeah. yeah. But... Since those Shadow Ninjas are a big part of the game, I want to go over them a little bit more. And I want to give some tips on surviving them as well. So, I've, I made a bit of tutorial video on how to survive dealing with them. It's coming up uh, in just a couple minutes. Uh, well, actually just a couple seconds, so I hope you enjoy. Now, one of the first things to note about them is that the triple fireball thing is so fast that it cannot be dodged on reaction. However, if you keep moving from side to side, it'll miss you. Like that. Yeah. And the reason yeah, is just it, like what you did. It has a sort of a casting animation, and once it starts, its aim is fixed. So if you're moving beforehand, guess what? You can dodge in time. Just don't get caught in a corner. That would be bad. <laughs> yeah, like that. And um. if you don't have any space to dodge to the side, well as I demonstrated before, as long as you have a little space, you can time your jumps over them. One, two, three. If this were a real fight, I've killed you tr three times over by now. <laughs> Another one. I should keep track. 
Oh well. <laughs> just, just keep a count. We just got this little. I'm still taking <laughs> taking damage from the Uzi, but well, I just got hit there, and I think that's it for the level and my explanation. So I'll talk to you later.